While you may be wondering whether you're recycling enough, government spending on fossil fuel industries continues to rise. The IMF reported that $5.3 trillion will be given to these companies through government subsidies worldwide. Fossil fuel companies also pump money into lobbying our politicians. Staggeringly, in the UK, companies do not have to declare how much they spend on lobbying. But looking at US figures, we can see this runs into the hundreds of millions. In the US, the Koch brothers are two of the richest men on earth. Their company, Koch Industries, also has one of the worst environmental records ever. They also actively fund climate change denial. Prior to 2010, there was a consensus amongst many US politicians, with many Republicans admitting that human activity contributed to climate change. New rules have allowed the Koch brothers to spend more on lobbying politicians. This means that their projected spend for election 2016 is $889 million. That's equal to the amount spent by all the other campaigns on the election. The Koch brothers lobby for their business interests, and that includes lower taxation, cuts to social security, and against any environmental legislation. Some Republicans have since changed their mind about climate change. But I believe the world is getting warmer. I believe, based on what I read, that the world, the world is getting warmer. Uh, and, and number two, I believe that humans contribute to that. I believe that man's activities certainly can be contributing to the issue of global warming, climate change. My view is that we don't know what's causing climate change on this planet. And the idea of spending trillions and trillions of dollars to try and reduce CO2 emissions is not the right course for us. There's no convincing scientific evidence for man-made climate change. Research from the University of Bergen shows that even among right-wing parties, the Republicans stand alone in climate change denial. This is out of sync with their own voter base, which also increasingly agree that climate change is a threat. Yet, Koch Industries continues to get their say by buying our politicians and putting their views above the public and above the planet. Worse still, in the UK, we don't even know how much these companies spend on buying our politicians.